the equation x cubed minus 300x equals 3000 has no real solutions, exactly one, exactly two, exactly three, or infinitely many real solutions. Okay, so we can immediately rule out options A and E. Um, a cubic equation on the real line always has at least one solution. And any algebraic equation like this will never have infinitely many solutions. So we know the answers are not A and E. Um, to figure out how many it does have, hmm, I mean, maybe one, do we have any hope of finding one of the roots of this equation? Uh, yeah, clearly, well, oh wait, maybe not. <laughs> Hold on, I'm speaking a little bit too soon here. Hmm. Let's write this down. Like, I, I just wonder whether it's worth approaching this question graphically, plotting this and trying to figure out where its zeros might be, or if we do something algebraic to figure something out. Um, Well, my intuition is that it's going to be one real solution because the graph of the function, oh, but of course we have to worry about negative values of x. Hmm. Let's consider first only positive values of x. Uh, I'm going to think of the left, the thing on the left-hand side as being a function of x. So, you know, the, the, the value 3000 is way up here. I want to know when I cross that line. So, for small positive values of x, the graph looks like this. Um, but eventually, when x cubed starts to dominate, it'll turn around and do something like that. So there will be only one value of x, which is positive, which satisfies this. So the question is, is there a negative value of x? And if there is a negative value of x, there will in fact be two negative values of x. Um, I mean, if x is negative 10, we have negative 1, thousand like I'm gonna go I'm gonna say f of x is equal to x cubed minus 300 x then f x is negative 10 f of negative 10 is equal to negative 1,000 plus 3,000 why don't I just maximize no that won't why don't I find, yeah, well, what I can do is I can find where the derivative of this is equal to zero. One of the values will be here. The other one will be um, the maximum of this function in, in this region. And if I compute that local maximum, if it's greater than 3,000, then I know it goes above and comes back down below. So f prime of x is equal to 3x squared minus 300 and if I set that equal to 0 I have 3x squared is equal to 300 so x is equal to plus or minus 10 okay so I think this pretty much answers our question um, there's a local maximum at at this value which is clearly 2000 and so the function kind of turns around like that before it gets up as high as 3,000. So the answer to this has to be exactly one solution. Yeah, the positive value of 10, positive value of 10 corresponds to this point where we turn around, which we don't really care about. And we know um, there certainly has to be only one, only one solution over here. Um, yeah, I um, guess there's not too much more to say about this. 
uh, looking at it originally, I didn't, for some reason, I just didn't think intuitively that calculus would be the approach that I took to solve this, but ended up getting us there pretty much right away. Thanks for watching.